Hi everyone, so I just thought I'd give you a little update about how Pignorant's going on Amazon Prime here. It's currently uh, free on subscription with Prime, which was a big surprise to us. We were very happy about that. And it's uh, for rent currently in the US. We're trying to get uh, it out there on a worldwide platform very soon. Just working with the distributor in the background there. What actually happened was uh, we started noticing it was getting recommended quite a lot. And people were sending us that it was like coming up on if you like just on their home screen, um, if you go to the documentary section, we noticed that it was being recommended in popular movies under documentaries. And then, yeah, it was just coming up being recommended all over the place because we had a massive surge with the trailer and a bunch of people watching it and sharing it and a bunch of ratings and reviews and things like that, which was very overwhelming. And we were very grateful for that. We've also been uh, protesting. We began protesting at, um, Pilgrims, we've been to a, a slaughterhouse. Um, now, it was almost like something really weird happened. Like about two days ago, we were looking on Prime, we've been checking every day, it just stopped being recommended. Like if you go into the documentary section in Prime and you scroll all through the documentaries, all the way down the movies, all the way to the end, it's not even in there. It's not in there anymore. If you click documentaries and go to popular movies, it's not in there either. It's like, how has it, got, how has it a, been recommended as a popular movie and being recommended everywhere on Prime to being completely invisible? That was like, it kind of like made us wonder. Like, we don't know if the meat industry has complained about this film and they reduce visibility for, for temporarily while they look into it. We don't know if uh, protesting had anything to do with it. We just don't know. And we could, we could talk to the distributor about it, but um, yeah, it's just, it's just unusual for it to be such a popular movie and now it's not even in the documentary section at all. Like, how does that happen? Maybe they, there, there's other explanations for it, but you cannot help but like think, like has this, this movie, really harms the pork industry in a serious way. It really exposes the way they operate and they can no longer deny this, the footage that we got in our investigation because we showed exactly how we got it and we really got to the bottom of this topic, an unavoidable topic for the pork industry, which is CO2 gas chambers. And you can't help but think maybe they wouldn't really want this documentary on Prime, would they? They wouldn't really want something so damning something that is such an indictment on the pig killing industry on such a popular platform like Prime that maybe there has been a few attempts, but you know, just because you don't like a documentary doesn't mean it shouldn't be allowed to be seen by people. <laughs> just because you don't like something a documentary says doesn't mean you get to get it removed, does it? Or, you know, so this, this here is kind of like, just, just letting you guys know, like, we were very excited it was being recommended by Prime that, you know, we're kind of back at, we're not back at square one because we're so grateful to be on, on Prime Video with it. It's an amazing uh, opportunity for the mainstream to see this documentary. So we just have to direct people to the documentary in various ways. And we need obviously the help of the, the animal movement and the vegan movement. And uh, those of you who might not be vegan, but have seen the documentary and think it's something that that people who consume these products need to know and deserve to know. So you people as well are very, very important to the success of this documentary. Um, you know, I think this is in the public interest. This is something people do need to know. Um, meat eater vegan or not, you know, people deserve to know this in the, the industry, uh, let's face it, uh, trying to keep it concealed in a way. They're not openly condemning their own industry, are they? But, um, and they will never do that. So I guess keep sharing, keep sharing as much as you can. Um, just know that, you know, the film won't do the work for us. We need to get people to ha get eyes on the film. So if you've got any creative advertising ideas, put them into action, especially here in the, the UK where it's free for subscription. In the US, it, the, the, exactly the same things apply in that documentary in the US exactly the same concepts apply that are featured in that documentary. And US is a big gas chambering country. And same with Europe and same with Australia and, and across the world, Canada, places like this. And we, we, we will do another big push 
once it's available worldwide. But yeah, been a roller coaster, extremely exhausted, extremely grateful for everyone's support. Another thing we'll be campaigning in London um, in the next, uh, so we're starting Thursday. Go to my Facebook page, you'll see all the events links, event links there. If you are in and around London, please come. We need you, the animals need you. The time is now. If you're not gonna come protesting now, when will you? Um, we understand some of these are on weekdays. There are weekdays for a reason. Um, you know, uh, just just get, come out with us. Come out with us and express your anger and rage at what the, the industry are doing to these sentient beings. These animals have no one to, to speak up for them. Only, they can only rely on you at home. They don't, they don't have any other means of protection. There's no coalitions forming to protect these animals. There's no people debating animal protection in, like, in a serious way, like in a, in a rights way, where they actually get protection in parliament or within, within government. These are products to be exploited by everyone. So we need you. The animals need you. So come, come, come down and protest with us. Um, or we'll be traveling outside of London as well, but we need everyone to come to all of them, really. Um, otherwise, we will do it alone. We will still do it alone. Like, we don't, we don't need you to protest with us. We want you to come and protest for the animals. Um, so we'll lead the way, but honestly, come and join. And uh, yeah, keep sharing pro uh, Pignorant on Prime. And yeah, let's see if we can get it back in the, just back recommended, I don't know where it went, just boop, disappeared. Very interesting, but yeah, thank you very much. We'll speak to you soon.